In my last video, I showed all the current in production Hondas not sold in Australia. Many bikes have already been cut from Australia's lineup, and this morning I learned it's only going to get worse. After current stocks are sold out, we'll also be losing the Honda Monkey Bike, the Grom, the Super Cub, the CT125, and the CB125E. They're all on the chopping block, and once current stocks are sold out, that's it, they're gone. You will not be able to buy them again. So what's the culprit? Who's to blame? I visited my local Honda dealer this morning, and after having a good chat with Brent at Motorcycle Land in Ballarat, I now know why. And the answer's very simple. It took me by surprise, actually. Dual channel ABS. The government has passed ADR regulations, ADR stands for Australian Design Rules, where every road going motorcycle must be sold with dual channel ABS as standard. Dual channel ABS basically means ABS fitted on both front and rear wheels of the motorcycle. It has to be both. It can't just be fitted to the front wheel. And the regulation is already in effect, meaning manufacturers are allowed to sell their existing stock, but they can't bring any more bikes into the country if they're not fitted with dual channel ABS. Now, this doesn't just affect Honda. This affects every manufacturer selling motorcycles in Australia today. Expect to see more bikes cut from the lineup across the board. I can think of Suzuki's Boulevard M109R, that's going to go, and Suzuki's DR650SE will also be gone. If the specs don't show whether a bike has dual channel ABS or not, find a picture of the rear wheel and look for an ABS sensor ring. If it's missing, it's a good chance it's not fitted with dual channel ABS. If you're in Australia and you've been sitting on the fence on a particular bike you're interested in, I'd advise contacting your local dealer to see if that model may be on the way out. Don't delay. Remember, once these bikes are gone, they're gone. Well, that solves the mystery for me. When it comes to motorcycling in Australia, we are indeed experiencing interesting times. If you've made it this far, thanks so much for watching. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel, and hopefully I can get to see all of you again in the next one. Bye for now.